I think just moving to you, Sanjay, Nokia has been at the forefront of, uh, you know, kind of seeing how technology can have larger social impact. I saw some of the uh, uh, exhibits that you had actually put out in your booth. Maybe you can share something on where you see India's future and the role of technology players like yourself in catalyzing that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Balaji, and good morning, everyone. So I will, I will pick up a little bit from uh, what Gopal was saying earlier and the stories which uh, he was mentioning. Uh, so I think lots have been done on the digitization part, on the central digitization, whether it is the banking industry, whether it is the Aadhaar, whether it is the other identity which we have. Am I audible? Okay. So. I think from that perspective, as I said, lots have been done. Naturally, the connectivity also has been provided uh, quite extensively, and the mobile operators have been one of the big catalysts in, in uh, changing, changing that uh, domain in India. Uh, but how it is impacting the life and how it is kind of uh, doing the social change in India. So maybe I will also narrate one story on what we do is the Smartpur project, and uh, this Smartpur project is basically digitizing the villages. So we have connected about 100 villages, and it is not only the physical connectivity. It is basically, even if the connectivity is there, then what all services which you provide or enable at either the community center or that the panchayat ghar to really change the lives. And maybe I'll narrate one story that we digitized one of the village where there was one entrepreneur which who was who is like what 22 years old and his job was that he used to collect all the forms from the village every week whether it is applying for Aadhaar or whether it is withdrawing money or whether it is kind of filing some income tax paper or something once in a week, he would collect all the forms, then travel 100 kilometers to the city, do all the job, and then come back in the evening to, to give it back to all the, all the villagers. So imagine this, that if you have given a check and if your sign is not matching, then she or he gets the money next week because that's when he goes again back to the village. So we just did a very sim simple thing of digitizing that place and having a small micro ATM, small micro station for getting all these Aadhaar facility and everything. And that guy was able to service all the villagers from, from there. So what that means is basically that guy who was earning only, let's say, 1,000 bucks in a month is able to now earn about 5,000, 6,000 a month. So that's basically changing the life of that entrepreneur and the changing life of the villages. So I would say that, yeah, whatever one village which we are talking about, there are quite a few villages where the broadband connection is there, whether through Bharatnet or whether through the mobile side. But how do you use that network? How do you use that infrastructure to change the lives? And this is what, what what we have been uh, looking at, what we have been providing. So yes, on the connectivity side, 5G, whatever standards come, we are always ready to provide that connectivity. But I think we have to look at, as Gopal said, as India, that how do we change the lives of this 500 million people? So yes, whenever we show a use case of uh, robotic surgery, maybe it li looks little visionary and little far-fetched, but at the same time, if you look at the use case of only doctor's consultation remotely, that itself, which is very much possible, that itself will be able to change the lives of so many people. As on today also, there are, I think, what, millions of people who come from far-fetched area to Ames here and to all the hospitals here to just get five minutes consultation. So they spend 24 hours traveling just for five minutes. So whether it is, and then we don't need 5G for that. So with 4G itself, with all the equipment which is available today, that's how we can at least do that medical, medical kind of consultation which can, which can change the life. And you can talk 
more and more about more and more about those kind of use cases which we are demonstrating and all these are again being developed by the local entrepreneurs here because they know what needs to be changed and i think yes from nokia perspective whether it is 5g machine learning whether it is artificial intelligence all those equipments are there all the those systems are there which are available but i think as india we have to find the best use that how do you change the lives of let's say another 500 people who are who don't have that kind of facility